click the link in the description to download your own copy of this video's problem. Hey guys, Russ here. Welcome back to another fantastic organic chemistry video. And today we're going to do some IUPAC naming of organic compounds. Fundamental, easy, and fun. All right, let's get after the first one. So in our first example, here we go. Rule number one, find the longest continuous carbon chain. This one I think is pretty easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is a heptane. It's a heptane. A seven carbon chain is known as a heptane. Next rule, number the longest continuous chain starting from the carbon closest, sorry, starting from the carbon at the ends closest to the first substituent. So this is carbon number one because it's closest to this first bromine right here. Okay? So we have a two dash bromo and a five dash bromo. All right, so there is my root name, heptane, and my substituents' names, bromo. One's at carbon two, one's at carbon five. Now, again, a lot of students get confused as to why you number from where I did. I started here, not here. A lot of students want to start from the left because that's how we read. But this one had to start from the right because the carbon at the end was closest to the bromine. If I had numbered the other way, let's, let's just put some different numbers in here. If I had numbered from this way, I would have had a three, six dibromo. It's three and six are bigger than two and five, right? So the purple numbers don't work because they're bigger than the blue numbers when, for where the substituents are located. So let's get rid of those offensive purple numbers. Let's put it all together. Two comma five dash dibromo. 2,5-dibromo-heptane. Very, very simple. Let's do the next one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is a 5-carbon chain. That's a pentane. Start numbering your carbons from the carbon at the end of your chain that's closest to the first substituent. So that would be right here. That's the closest one to the first substituent. So it's going to be uh, not 1, pardon me. 2-chloro, 3-bromo. Now, when you're putting this together, remember it's alphabetical. It's alphabetical. So bromo has to come first. Chloro has to come second because B comes before C in the alphabet. doesn't matter that 2 is less than 3. That's irrelevant. Three dash bromo dash two dash chloro pentane, and that's how you would do that one. Okay, that's how you would do example two. All right, guys. Now I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and slap that like button. Leave me a comment below. Tell me what you think of this video. Tell me the problems that you're working on in organic chemistry. Maybe I can make a video just for you. And if you could, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really does help YouTube creators when you guys subscribe. It helps YouTube, you know, recognize us as being. Uh, quality creators. And if you could please share this video with your friends or your family members who may be taking organic chemistry, maybe I can help them out as well. And with that, you guys, I want to wish you all good luck and good chemistry. We'll see you soon. Email drbets at protonmail.com if you would like a copy of every problem in this series.